Good evening YouTube! Full Circle Review back here. For another review, this time we've got Smart Food Popcorn White Cheddar Cheese. This is gluten-free for you nuts out there. And, um, well, there we go. It was about 9 servings per container of 28 grams, 160 calories. For that being protein, and this does contain 4% of your calcium. So just go ahead and get rid of that milk, you know. We'll pop this thing open. Oh my word. Look at all that popcorn. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the camera better on that. Like snow. It's just like snow. Look at that. So we're going to try some now. Now this is interesting. The first thing that hits you when it hits your tongue is it's slightly sweet like kettle corn. But it's not really sweet. Right now I'm looking on the back to see if I can see any ingredients that might sweeten it. The only one that I could possibly see would be whey. But typically whey itself is not sweet. So really, it's just the cheese combination I suppose. Overall this is cooked very well. It's uh, crisp, golden brown, like popcorn should be. It reminds me of the movie theater where they used to allow you to put that powder on it. And this tastes a lot like that white cheddar powder. And in my own personal opinion, white cheddar is far superior to re regular cheddar because it's just uh, sharper, cleaner cheese. I'm going to have to give this a 93 out of 100. Overall, I feel like they could improve if they could remove some of the preservatives and move towards a more natural route and just make the cheese more natural. I just don't like that preservative taste, you know. However, this is a very solid product, great snack food, and I suppose it's a healthier alternative. I mean, it's a corn, which is a human-modified grain, sort of. So it's not too far from what it used to be, I suppose. And the EPA allows you to eat it, so I mean, how bad could it be, right? I mean... If if you put it in the water and it, it and it doesn't turn the frogs gay, it, it must be pretty good, you know. It keeps Alex Jones uh, out of business. But um, really like this. I bought this at Kroger's, like everything else. Uh, what else? I suppose I could tell y'all what separates white cheddar from regular cheddar. Let's see if I can find an answer for y'all that's legitimate. Maybe. There we go. Pull it on up here. Internet's going to take its time this evening because I'm trying to show y'all something. Okay, the cheese experts say, apparently they don't say anything, this is, um, this is a lacking art, art article right here. Um, well, I just feel bad because right now I'm rambling to a microphone, staring at my computer screen, hoping that I can find an answer for y'all, and y'all are probably clicking off, going to go look at T-Series and try to knock down PewDiePie. But I don't blame you with the way the current the world's go currently the world's going. All right, yellow versus white cheddar cheese. Yellow and white cheddar cheese. <clears throat> it would be easy to assume that con that coming in two colors means there is something significantly different about the flavor of your yellow and white cheddar, or that they must be different varieties. But actually, there is no difference whatsoever. Apart from the color, of course, it is produced. Cheddar cheese is naturally white to light yellow in color. The dark yellow, almost orange color that is commonly seen in cheddar cheese is a result of coloring additive. 
Typically, the color comes from a plant extract of the acetoth tree and the anotho. This additive gives the naturally white cheddar cheese the deep yellow or orange appearance that everyone associates with the cheese or cheeseburgers, grilled cheese sandwiches, and of course, macaroni and cheese. Where's my smart, smart pop popcorn on here? Hmm? They just wouldn't look right to many Americans without the characteristic yellowish orange color that is associated with the cheddar cheese. So literally, white cheddar is cheddar cheese without the additive. Well, uh, now you know. And uh, do social media stuff for me. Tell me what you want. Y'all have a good night.